What's up guys, welcome to the next weekly ramble video. I know I was missing uh, last week, but I am back. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but before we get into that, I do wanna mention we've got our guild kit giveaway going on right now. Uh, if you wanna enter, all you have to do, subscribe to the channel, comment on any of our videos with hashtag guild kit giveaway. Uh, if you do that, you'll be able to win literally your choice of any of the five new guild kits that were just released. They all look really, really sweet, so no harm in picking any of them. Uh, and hopefully somebody really, really awesome and supportive will win. We really, we really, wow, appreciate all of the support from you guys. Uh, we've already got a lot of entries, so we really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you enter before Monday. Monday is going to be when we actually pick the winner. Uh, so make sure you do that very, very soon. You've got basically the weekend to do it. So hurry up, get in there. It's going to be exciting. Uh, we also have giveaways planned for Christmas that we're really, really excited about. Uh, we want to do something a little bit bigger than we normally do. Obviously, it's Christmas, it's time of giving. Uh, so we're going to do our part, hopefully, uh, and, and give away some really, really cool stuff. So uh, keep track of all that stuff. Again, we do those usually once a month. Uh, so we'll probably do one more giveaway uh, at the end of November and then do our Christmas giveaway around Christmas, uh, New Year's time, somewhere in there. So uh, just keep up to date on that stuff. We've got a lot of it coming at you. Uh, so we're really, really excited about that. Uh, but as I mentioned at the top of this video, yes, I was missing uh, last week. Unfortunately, I was away uh, for a conference for work. As you may notice, uh, over the past like two months, I've been a l away a lot because of conferences with work. Uh, but finally, we are through that season. I no longer have a conference until like February, I think. Uh, so I should be good uh, in terms of doing videos and keeping up to date on all the content. So I do apologize. I know we missed a few uh, even podcast episodes in there, which really never feels good. Uh, but we did our best to keep on top of everything and we should be all good now. We're just kind of playing catch up as you may notice by this video going up a little bit late. Uh, but we're going to do the best we can to stay on top of things. The other factor in this though, uh, and we did talk about this in the podcast episode, and this isn't necessarily an official announcement for anything, but Will and his uh, beloved wife are about to have a baby uh, in literally a month. Uh, and so we're all really, really excited for him. It's going to be a fantastic time. Uh, it's a great time of year for that kind of thing too. So we're really excited about it. But obviously a new baby coming that's going to uh, put a damper, excuse me, on uh, recording some content. Thankfully, a lot of the stuff uh, like the weekly ramble, the cracker packs, all that stuff, I do on my own anyway. So that's not going to affect any of that stuff. Really, the only big thing is going to be the podcast, uh, which we do uh kind of want i mean we plan to keep it going as much as we possibly can it may be that we take some time off just during christmas anyway uh due to the holidays things like that we're probably going to be traveling uh and so we may not be able to anyway just even without the baby but uh, obviously with a baby it's going to be a lot more difficult uh to carve out an hour of time that we can actually sit and record so we're gonna do the best we can we don't necessarily have an official way of handling this uh, at this point, but we have been talking about it and kind of figuring things out. Part of the reason for going audio only, which you may have realized we've done in the last like two weeks or so, uh, was because it's a little bit easier on both of us to just kind of sit down, set up really, really quickly with just a couple mics and record. Uh, there's no lighting, there's no video, none of that stuff. Uh, so it saves on just a little bit of time. It makes things a little bit easier. So uh, we're probably gonna continue that at least for a while. Uh, again, that was really to, to make that easier for Will. So uh, it, it seems to be working so far and it doesn't seem to be dampering anything in terms of uh, content. Like you guys don't seem to be bothered by it too much. Uh, you just get to see us less, uh, which may or may not be a good thing. But um, yeah, so we're gonna do the best we can. We'll, we'll keep you guys updated, uh, or at least I will throughout these weekly rambles. We'll probably talk about it on the next podcast episode a little bit too. Uh, but I just wanna let you know that uh, if you see podcast episodes being a little bit skimp over the next couple months or something like that, that's probably why. Uh, for the record, we have no intention of stopping. Uh, we fully plan to keep this going as much as we can. It's just with a baby on the way, he's got a bigger priority than a magic podcast. So uh, we'll do the best we can and we'll keep you guys updated as we go along. Uh, something really the biggest magic news that I wanted to talk about this time. Uh, a lot of this is just related to our channel, but the biggest magic news is Ultimate Masters right now. Uh, we did our podcast episode on it yesterday, uh, so I'd highly suggest checking that out. We talk a little bit more in detail about it. Um, I'm going to just kind of gloss over some really important points that we did touch on. Uh, something that, if you've looked at the spoilers, 
Uh, basic, basically what we've gotten so far are the box toppers and the cards that go, you know, in tandem with the box toppers. Uh, if you don't know what those are, you're going to get one per, pa per box, excuse me, uh, and they will be marked. They will be in uh, their own sort of pack packaging thing. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but they will be marked uh, and you'll get a pack and there will be a box topper card in there that is one of the 40 that they released. Uh, and they're full art cards. They look absolutely stunning. The value is fantastic. Uh, absolutely great. Uh, as somebody mentioned, I think Will mentioned on the podcast, it would be really bad to open a Kitchen Finks, but that's probably the worst card you can get, uh, which is pretty awesome. So there's a lot of good stuff in there, but uh, with that comes a higher price tag uh, of $335, something like that, MSRP, according to the Wizard site, uh, which if you already know, I mean, Master Sets, of course, they're going to be more expensive. There's more value in the set, so it makes sense. I get it, but uh, the master sets already price a lot of people out of the game uh, in terms of just being able to pick up a box or just spend some money and actually get to sit down and draft with the set. Uh, obviously, the master sets originally were a little bit cheaper than the 335, uh, and so they were a little more doable, but it still is kind of difficult for somebody who is the magic general demographic, which is probably going to be you know high school, college age kids most of the time. Uh, not necessarily in a career path or anything like that, making a full-time salary, but basically doing, you know, the hourly jobs, things like that. Uh, and obviously, that's there's outliers to that. I'm not, you know, trying to say that's all of the magic demographic, but I'm just saying that generally tends to be the focus of the demographic. Uh, and what that means for this set is that a lot of people aren't going to be able to afford it, uh, just because it's really, really expensive. Its value is great. Uh, the EV right now, I think, is sitting at, just based off of the rares and mythics that we have seen and the couple uncommons, uh, Eternal Witness and Kitchen Finks, um, I think the EV is sitting at like 12 bucks a pack. Uh, I saw in, in an article on Cardsphere.com, I believe, is where I saw that. Uh, and basically, to break even on a box, the idea is uh, we need an EV of about $15 per box. So if we get a little bit more value, we'll probably get there, uh, which is great. I think it's fantastic. but it's going to be really difficult to actually get. Uh, it's just too expensive. And so basically what we were talking about in the podcast episode is, is, the, is it justified at the price that we are at? Uh, long term, we don't know yet, obviously, because we don't know the majority of the set. Uh, we only know about 40 cards, which all 40 of them look fantastic. Uh, so we'll see. Um, my main point with this is that we need to fix what has been wrong with some of these master sets in the past, which in my opinion, uh, has been that the, there's not a ton of value in the common and uncommon slot. Uh, if you look at the original Modern Master set, uh, there was value all throughout every card slot, uh, down from Mythic down to Common. There were fantastic cards in every slot. You look at Lava Spike, three to five dollar card at the time, I think, uh, and Kitchen Finks at Uncommon. Lots of really really good stuff, and then of course some incredible rares and Mythics. Uh, and 2015 was like okay at that, but not great. Uh, there was a lot more like value sort of hedged upward towards the mythic slot, but much less at the common and uncommon. And then we look at something like Iconic Masters, which yeah, there were like a couple two, maybe three dollar cards, but overall they were really bad in the common and uncommon slot. And what that leads to is you open a pack and you don't feel like it was worth it. Uh, because you get uh, no really good value at commons or uncommons, and then a rare that c may be really, really great, because there are some great ones, but nine times out of ten, you're not going to get the best rare right off the bat. Uh, and so you open a few packs, you might get one or two good rares, and that's it. Uh, and that doesn't really encourage people to come back buying your product, uh, in my opinion. I don't necessarily think that you have to break the bank on every pack. I don't think that you have to make your money back even on every pack, but... Uh, what I think is important is that you feel like you got something out of it. And so uh, I feel like it's really, really important for Wizards to do that this time around. I'm hoping uh, with a set called Ultimate Masters and priced at the price point that it's at, uh, that we'll see some of that. Uh, but obviously we won't know. I believe the, the releases and the spoilers are really starting to come out on the 19th of this month. Uh, so we'll probably skip a week on Ultimate Masters in terms of podcasting and even on the Weekly Ramble. Uh, but we'll probably talk about it more and more uh, in about two weeks, something along those lines. Uh, but I have high hopes. It's just that price point is terrible. Uh, and I know a lot of people are kind of worried about it too. So by all means, let me know your thoughts. 
I would be uh, very, very interested to hear them. Leave them in the comment section below. Uh, we can have a conversation about it. I think that's perfectly fi fine and fun. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. Uh, and again, if you want to hear a more detailed conversation as well as Will's point of view on it, uh, then please, please go check out the podcast episode. Uh, I, I thought it was a really fun one to record actually. So, uh, that's kind of where we're at. That was really the biggest news in magic this week. Obviously a lot of stuff going on with the channel, uh, but we'll keep you updated as more things as we learn more and everything. So, uh, last thing again, please don't forget to enter the guild kit giveaway. We do encourage you to do that. Uh, obviously we appreciate the support, but we also want to give away some awesome stuff. Uh, Christmas is going to be probably a bigger giveaway. Uh, we're thinking about maybe a booster box or something a little bit bigger. Uh, than the norm, you know, we, we usually kind of have a price point in mind for, for our giveaways. Uh, this time we kind of want to go a little overboard for you guys. So uh, we'll do the best we can, uh, but stay tuned for all that. I do hope uh, you have a fantastic weekend, uh, and I hope that Ultimate Masters is all that it uh, claims to be. But uh, with that, I'm going to end this video. I'll see you guys in the next Weekly Ramble.